Okay, I see the record button now. So thank you very much, Jenna, and welcome to everyone. It's so great to be with you today. My name is Gail Kabelman, and right now behind me, you can see the beautiful mural. I am in the Chemster Library, and this is what I do for a living. I work at the Chemster Public Library, which is one of the 14 branches of the Oxford County Library System. And uh, we just closed curbside, so my co-worker Joan, who is not partaking in the activity, is over in the corner. So if you do hear someone else laughing, it's because she has an infectious laugh, and it's always good to have someone with you. So she is doing her own thing, but she probably will join a little bit of laughter when she hears us laughing. So I'll just get right to why we're here today. Jenna invited me to be a part of your group today, and I really appreciate that. And right now, with everything going on in the world, the state of affairs in our own minds and hearts is first and foremost. And I'm not sure how old you all are, but I'm assuming that me being 60 years old, I'm the oldest one here. And I have learned the hard way that I need to take better care of myself not only physically, but mentally. And one of the things that one of the things that I do to make myself feel better is I laugh. And it is so good to work in the library with someone like Joan, who loves to laugh too, because laughter really does make the day go better. But what is laughter and why do we laugh? When I was younger, when I was in high school, I thought laughter meant that you tell a joke or you make fun of somebody. And that's what laughter was to me. And it was very sad to find out that that's one kind of laughter, but it's not the best kind of laughter. When I took the training to become a laughter yoga teacher, now I'm in my 13th year of teaching, I found out that the best kind of laughter is the laughter that does not require you to even be in a good mood. The best kind of laughter is the physical laughter and the benefits that you get from that. When you laugh out loud, really loud, really long and really hard, you take in more oxygen, your brain lets out chemicals that you need to feel good. You may have heard the word dopamine or serotonin, some of these things that are in our brain. And when you laugh, those natural, normal chemicals that are created inside us are released and we feel better. Another thing that happens is our mood elevates. So even if you're having a really lousy, rotten day and someone says something to you and you start laughing, even without you knowing it, you're actually lifting and elevating your mood. So how does somebody go from having a really lousy, rotten day to laughing, especially when you're by yourself? And that's what's probably going to feel weird for you today because you're all in separate locations and that's why when I'm finished chatting in a couple minutes I want Jenna then to unmute everybody so that we can hear each other laughter laughing and we can share the laughter because shared laughter is the best laughter and we never we never laugh at somebody in class we learned in laughter yoga that we're not allowed in class to ever laugh at someone so we don't tell jokes we don't make fun of somebody. We actually simply do what we call laughter yoga exercises or prompts to make us laugh. And my laugh is probably going to be loud and weird and unique because that's what I'm trained to do. So before I get you to unmute, I want to tell you three more things. And you need to know these things so that you're prepared. If you have had any surgery on your nasal area, your sinus area, your cheek area, and your heart in the last six months, you can still take part of laughter yoga with us, but you need to be careful because when we're laughing, that puts pressure on all these areas. So if you've had that surgery, you'll want a private message to Jenna because I don't need to know. It's none of my business, but you'll need to private message Jenna and let her know that you're not able to fully participate because of that surgery. Number two, if by any chance any of you are expecting a baby and you're in your first three months of pregnancy, I again would ask you to stay with us and be a part of the phone call, but not to laugh too hard because laughter yoga has been known to bring on feelings of, they say it can bring on the feeling that you are going into labor. 
uh, you actually don't go into labor, but it can bring that feeling on. And the third thing I need you to know is that I am here as a laughter yoga teacher. I'm not here as Gail Kavelman from the library. I'm using the library because I didn't have enough time to get from here to my home. And plus, I have to work this evening until eight o'clock. That's all I need you to know. And now if you guys can come back with me and we can stop the recording and uh, we'll get busy and do some laughter, okay? <laughs>